which gets an 81B as he defeats Robert Groot with an angle slam. They have pretty good chemistry, so that's good to know going forward if we ever split beer money up. So, Robert, this was mainly a test to see if Bobby was going to do well as a singles competitor, and he is. He got a 77 in ring performance, an 81B. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Kurt Angle wins with an angle slam, this meaning he gets his match at Destination X. He gets the final encounter against Desmond Wolf for the TNA World Championship. Speaking of, Desmond Wolf slides into the ring from behind, stands to his feet, and goes to Larry at Kurt Angle, but before he can even start charging, Angle turns around and the two just have a stare down. Desmond pulls up his glasses, looks him right in the eye, then holds the TNA World Championship up and says, You will never be the world champion on my watch. On the Wolf's watch. On the Lariat's watch. And as he goes to say that, Angle just charges him and boom, drops him. Punch after punch after punch until Desmond finally can slide out from underneath the bottom rope and onto the ground. But he leaves the TNA World Championship in the ring, which Kurt Angle grabs, picks up, and says, Oh, I will be champion again. It's true. It's damn true. And that's how we end Impact this week. Kurt Angle once again standing tall over Desmond Wolf. Got an 89A. Let's see what the show got. An 83B+. Plus. I believe that ties for our best show, actually. So that did really well. I'm very impressed with that. Going forward, I feel like my booking is going to be a lot better as I have pre-booked a lot of... St- not really pre-booked, but I've thought about a lot of stuff when it comes to storyline-wise. So thank you guys for sticking with me all this time. Now it's time to get on into the good stuff. So I appreciate you guys watching. Nonetheless, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and catch you tomorrow as we bring you the next episode of Impact. Take it easy, guys.